Hi guys. Sorry it's been forever since you've seen me. Um, we've had a, quite a bit of struggles this year. So I thought I'd hop on here and just explain a few things about what's been going on in 2018, which <sighs> hasn't really quite been our year. So um, basically the gist is going to be that um, tack fitting issues, abscesses, inconsistency in me riding because I've been slacking off a lot, um, barrier issues, just those type of things have been going on this year. So um, I don't know if you can remember, um, sorry, I'm laying on my floor. Last year, like last winter, beginning of this year, um, where B was having a hard time cantering and his back was really sore and he was bucking and doing all kinds of nonsense and we were just kind of having a hard time with that. Um, here, I didn't listen to anyone, um, like I should have. So my saddle wasn't fitting anymore and it was causing him a lot of um, back issues and back pain and shoulder issues and it was pinching in all different places and um, finally I listened to oh, the signal my border collie here um, I finally listened to everyone <laughs> gunner go shoot I finally listened to everyone and um, got my saddle fitted I had the saddle fitter come out and she checked it and she said no matter what I did um, to this particular saddle um, it wasn't gonna fit him whether I shimmed it added padding whatever it wasn't gonna fit so um i was like all right well this is a medium wide this is stupid 1894. i love the saddle it's extremely comfy um it's i love it so i went and got the other saddle in a medium and she said that didn't fit him either so, i hear you um it was still gonna pinch him no matter what so that didn't fit so i returned that one um my stupid in a medium wide is actually for sale so if someone would like to buy that that would be great um so then I got a Marcel Toulouse, um, I forget the model of it, the Aachen I think it's called or whatever and um, that was actually the one I was looking at before I bought my Steuben. Um, so I got that one in a medium, it fit him, she came out, saddle fitter came back out, fitted it to him, reflocked it, all that fun stuff and then he was gotten better. I also had him chiropractic in between this time so like maybe in like the spring, early summer I had him chiropractic and he was out in several different places. Um, but still that didn't fix the issue. Um, getting the saddle properly fitted and a new saddle, um, which basically was the issue. And at this point, um, he was due for his injections, but because we were having all these issues and I wasn't really riding a whole lot, would you get out of the way? Um, wasn't really riding a whole lot that um, I didn't get him injected. Um, so that caused some more issues. And then um, he had lost his shoe in the field. <sighs> Stay. You're fine. He had lost his shoe in the gunner. Gunner. <laughs> Go get your toy. Where's your tennis? Go get your tennis. Um, Go get your tennis. Um, he had lost his shoe in the field and I had made an appointment with my farrier and it took him a few days to get back to me. In between the few days, I had like duct taped his foot up to keep it. But he had gotten so sore, um, he could barely walk without his shoes. I guess he had bruised it. I'm not really sure. So, um, I did that. The farrier said he really couldn't even, when he finally got out, couldn't even tack a shoe on because he was so sore. So I had to finally see whatever. I treated him for an abscess, soaked it, did all that stuff for a few days. Finally, he was okay. Had the farrier back out. He was still a little sore. And then a few days later, he got back into work and he B was uh, better. He's going good. And then a few days of riding, came back, had another abscess. So for the past couple months, I've been treating him off and on for abscesses. I think he's had about four or five um, abscesses this year. I think something's wrong. I don't know. I can tell you. So I've been treating him for that. So then finally, we went back into work about two weeks ago. Everything is going good for the most part. He is going on Saturday to get his hocks injected. So I'm going to try and um, film that for you guys so you can see that vlog. Um, so he's due to get his hocks injected, his knee injected. Um, so that'll be good. So I'm going to talk to the vet then about what's been going on with his feet. So this past Saturday, I got a text from the girl who works weekends at the barn. She said that he, um, was off on his right front, which is odd because usually his left front 
is the problem hoof and the problem leg and the problem everything. Um, but here he was walking really lame. So I went out to the barn. There was heat in his hoof and at the cornet band and in the center of his hoof um, in between where two abscesses had blue prior. Um, his feet look like they've come out of the war, honestly, um, right now from all the abscess cracks and dings and all that fun stuff. Um, treated him on Saturday for an abscess, packed it, wrapped it, all that fun, all that exciting stuff. And then he didn't even trot down. So Sunday morning I go back out, I pull the wrap, I cold hose it to see where the heat's coming from. Heat's coming from a totally different place now. It's coming from, it was, on Sunday it was coming from his cornet band and in like the bulbs of his heel. Like, anyway, before someone called me. Um, so the heat was coming from the cornet band and behind, like in his ankle, like the bulbs of his heel, like back there. So I did this again. I, I trotted him afterwards to see how he was. Trots completely sound. Trotted him around a circle, trotted him straight. He trotted completely sound, walked completely sound, completely fine. So I did what I did. I still um, soaked it in Epsom salt, packed it, wrapped it did all that stuff and then I um, put him back outside, let him go and he was fine. So then today I talked to my trainer, see what she said. She said, you know what, if he's sound, go ahead and lunge him, see how he is or ride him, do whatever. So um, I did that. I ended up lunging him. He, there was no heat in the hoof like it was, but today there was heat, like less heat in the bulb or like his ankle like that area and he had some heat in his knee uh which is his right knee which is his good knee his left knee is the one that usually has the issues now like that's the one that gets injected so even when he was walking around i noticed he was like kind of like it wasn't like fluidly like extending he was like like this and then extending like pop pop and then extending it wasn't like popping but that's like what it was doing um so he kind of worked out of it a little bit um when I got done working him, he only worked for maybe like 15 minutes total just to get him moving. And, um, brought him in the barn, did all that. There was still heat, but not as much heat. So I cold hose it for like five, 10 minutes to see, let it, I let it cool down. And then the heat wasn't really there. Like it was there, but not really there. If that makes any sense. So, um, kind of just gave him some butane send him on his way outside again today so tomorrow i'm gonna ride him see how he is supposedly having a lesson on wednesday tentatively fingers crossed um but other than that that's really where i've been this year is i've been dealing with his abscesses um ill proper fitting tack oh just back issues shoulder issues hawk issues that just this year has been um just hard um and i haven't really been riding but we uh kind of quit our jobs my fiance and i quit our jobs and started our own business so we were doing that for a while um we have our own truck shop now which is pretty cool so um yeah so i'm just hoping that this all gets figured out and that we can get back to doing what we need to do because we didn't get the show once this year because of just the inconsistencies inconsistencies in everything our riding our training just everything we didn't get the show at all this year um which kind of sucks but his health and his comfort and everything should come first before showing so i'm hoping that this year we'll be able to get out there and get back into the show ring but yeah if you're wondering where i've been which you probably aren't just saying um, but that's where we've been. That's the issues we've been having. So finally the tack fits fine. Chiropractic works done. He's getting his injections. He's back on his supplements now. Um, that's basically it. So just please listen to me. If your horse is having all these issues and bucking and very uncomfortable and making grumpy faces when you tack him up and he's not moving his shoulder, like not moving properly, get your tack fitted, like get it checked out because I know it's a huge role and I knew it was a huge, like played a huge part and everything, but I just didn't listen and I didn't realize how much it really does affect your horse. So get your tack fitted properly <laughs> for real. <laughs> Take it from me who spent six months or however long not listening to anybody because I suck. Yeah. Just, just listen, get your tack fitted and then you'll have a lot less issues, but all right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.